What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be installing my spoiler that I painted in the last video. If you guys want to see this video, please click right here and save yourself some money. But yeah, you guys can see it's kind of hazy. That's because I wet sanded the whole thing and um, I'm going to uh, compound it and then polish and then wax it after. Okay, so to do this, well the spoiler is going to go over here, but to do this, I'm going to be basically cleaning the whole area with some isopropyl alcohol. I got 91% because that's the strongest I could find. Some microfiber towel. You guys don't have to use this one, but I'm like, I just like to do it. Uh, it this is uh, 2000 grit sandpaper. What I'm gonna wet sand where the 3M tape is gonna like uh, come in contact with the paint. And then I'm gonna clay bar the whole thing. Actually, I'm gonna clay bar first and then do this and then apply this adhesion promoter pad and then we'll get to the front part and stick the spoiler on oh and you're also going to need some masking tape Okay guys, so now that the surface is dry, I'm just gonna place the spoiler like I want it to be. And then I'll take a paint safe marker and then just kind of like draw lines where the, the, the spoiler is gonna be. And then these are, that's the area I'm gonna be prepping for like the 3M tape. So then basically all I'm doing is, uh, like I said, you don't have to do this step. I want to do it because I'm extra, but um, it's what's in the area first. Oh, and guys, don't worry too much about the uh, paint right now. I know it might look kind of easy, but if you guys like, feel like having to take this photo off and then you want to bring the original look of the paint back. All you have to do is compound and polish it so the paint's not damaged in any case. So then you take the elation from the bag, the link will be in the description down below and then and then just let the whole thing dry for maybe a minute. Okay guys so now that the surface is dry um, align the spoiler that you want it to be I think that's pretty good. And then you take your masking tape or whatever tape you have and then you make something like this. So basically what I'm doing is I take two strips, I overlap them. And I tape it to the bottom of the spoiler and to the car. So then it acts like a hinge when you pull back and then you can heat it up and then you can take off the tape excited right to that So now that you have the tape on, you can see that you can do this. Pull it here, take all your tape off, blah blah blah, and then you know what, you know the, you know the drill. So I'm just making sure once again that it's in the right position. All good. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna take my um, heat gun, well, heat gun. <laughs> and um, I'm just gonna heat up the car. Then you can take the backing off. Okay, 
Okay, so since it took me a while to take out the backing, I'm just gonna go and then heat up the whole thing. Two hours later. Alright y'all, so here's how it looks like. Well, I still need to compound and polish it, but yeah. Dude, that swooping line from the side is why I got this thing. Just look at this, man. Holy shit. Looks so good. But yeah, anyways. Here's what it looks like from the back. Probably gonna take the uh, license plate because of that black bar thing. Probably gonna get a clear one. But yeah, looks sick, dude. All right, so now I'm just gonna um, wrap masking tape around it. I'm gonna open the trunk, wrap masking tape, make sure it doesn't move. And then maybe I'll leave it on for a day. 3M says you can start driving like 3M says you can start driving uh, 30 minutes after install, but um, we all know that's bullshit. <laughs> well, anyways, um, yeah, I'm just gonna wrap it with some 3M tape, uh, masking tape and then. Uh, Okay, well, here it is guys, final product. Didn't take too long to install, didn't take too long to paint. Paint's gonna look very good after this, I already know it, because I already put some compound here and it's already looking so shiny. So I'm sure with some wax and some polish and wax, it'll look even better. But yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next video for some taillight painting, or I'm not sure what it's gonna be. Maybe it's gonna be a D badge, actually taking off those two. I don't know man, we'll just I'll just see you in the next one. Alright guys, later. Peace.